Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome to my channel Growth Analytics, and today I want to show you how the simple, easy way, straightforward way, if you're looking to actually set up your payments through Shopify. Um, make this tutorial straightforward, uh, no gimmicks, no like, uh, I'm going to tell a story and all that stuff. So let's get started right now. Okay. So here's uh, the online website right here. I obviously made a website for you guys to kind of like test it out and show you. Um, if you go all the way down here to setting, click on setting. And then you go down to uh, payment providers. Once you click on that, um, this is your Shopify payments. That's the main thing you're going to be using for uh, your store. So you want to hit uh, complete account setup. All right. So here is extremely important. You want to make sure that um, you keep this uh, updated to your current thing. So if you're an individual, you don't have any company, you're just starting out. It is perfectly fine. Actually, not really uh you know make your own company at llc so it's fine if you only have an llc that's that's perfectly fine a single member llc still works so if you have a sole partnership llc uh single member or just your individual with no company click right here um obviously this is optional so what does that mean uh, your eia ei n number right um is that if you set up an llc or um sole partnership type of company uh you will get depending on your state or country you come from but it, at least in the us you get an eii number which is your identification number and then you would take that from the irs and then you will copy that and you paste it right here and the reason behind that is uh, if you have your own company uh, irs tracks on your income through that so um yeah so even if you're just starting as an individual it's okay to not have a company but once you start making a lot of money especially if you have a full-time job maybe you want to get an llc because that will save you a lot more money because it doesn't really go as an an income uh yearly income it goes under your company so you put that in there it's optional again if you're an individual with no company it's fine you leave that blank and then yeah, this is a fake address um so i just put it in there uh, it's always going to come up with um remember this is going to be your business address it's always going to come up with your uh, residential address so make sure you change that if needed uh and then your personal uh information test now so you put your name your first and last name and then you put in your uh, date of birth along with your social security number uh, this is extremely important here guys because depending on what type of uh, product or you're selling or service uh, i'm talking more about product so if you have a general store uh, it's not a niche product it's okay to say online online general um products right Okay, if you have a niche product where you're just selling dog toys, you just like online dog supplies. And if I can type <laughs> products, right? So it's just keep it simple. Um, this is extremely important uh, to fill out. Do not leave it blank. Uh, again, because when an IRS uh, pulls out your EIN number, they wanna know what type of business you have. And also Shopify know, wanna know what type of business you have as well. Because obviously if you're selling prescription medication or something that requires some certification or anything like that, that's not allowed, right? So you wanna make sure that this matches up to what your store is all about. And then um, statement description. So this is what it's gonna show onto your customer. So um, whenever the customer actually buys a product from you, this will show um, just kind of like, hey, so whatever store, you just put in store name here. Um, this one right here, I'm gonna fake phone number. Um, so make sure to leave that blank because unless if you have a company that's set up with a customer su support type of phone number, you don't wanna put your own personal number. Uh, by the way, it'll automatically sync it in there, so make sure to leave it blank, because again, this is what the customer is gonna see, and I don't really personally kind of would rather have my customers actually get my phone number. I, I don't want that. They have the email, they can reach me out of that. So now you have your bank information. Obviously, uh, if you don't have a bank, that's a different story. Uh, you might want to get a bank for sure. Uh, routing number and account number, pretty straightforward there. And once everything is done, you just hit complete. So once you hit complete, they'll process this. Um, and then you can go back. And it's going to tell you right here, hey, like this is pretty much what the credit card is going to charge you per fee. Um, 
so just be mindful of that so whenever you're calculating your profit margin on how much money you're going to be making out of a product uh, this will be very important to notice uh, as that will play a uh, sort of a potential uh, expense uh, on your margin right and then paypal is pretty straightforward you click on paypal and it'll tell you send it, send an email or um, enter an email you put in the email for your business and then it asks you personal information like we did here and it'll automatically sync in and everything so i hope this was pretty straightforward and i uh, hope you guys that's uh, been very helpful for you if you do please let me know by hitting the like button and also subscribing to my channel um, if you have any other questions or something that you want to learn on shopify please let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys later take care and have a nice wonderful day